minus i phi square root 2. That's minus the star, so. Sorry? Minus the star. Uh, uh, yes, thank you. So it's minus. So this is just like x on power 3 equals something. So if I would ask you to solve x on power 2 equals 7, of course you would know how to solve this equation. What would you do? Take the square root. Of exactly. You would take square root or power, take power half of both sides. Yeah. And then you would have x equals plus minus square root of 7. So you would have two solutions because the power of this equation is 2. In general, you have two solutions. You can have less, because some solutions can be uh, equal. And then in the set of real numbers, some solutions could be complex. And if you would just be solving in the set of real numbers, then you wouldn't uh, get those solutions. But here, this equation is actually, we assume here that z is a complex number. So we will have three solutions. Uh, and this is, of course, according to the fundamental theory of algebra, which you have mentioned in your lecture notes. Okay, so we will have, in general, three solutions here. Uh, but before, how do we do this? Is this form of a complex number convenient to solve this equation? Or we use polar form? Yes, we use polar form. And then we will be using um, the Moivre's theorem, which is in your lecture notes on page 13. And this theorem says that z on power n equals So minus 5 over square root 2 is somewhere here. So minus 5 square root 2. And this is also negative, the same distance, right? So this is our number z on power 3. This is the corresponding theta angle. So what is the angle? So what is theta? Well, here you, you don't even have to calculate. You can see what the angle is. Of course, you could use, uh, you can calculate this angle using sine and cos definition. But do you actually have to do this? No. No, why not? 
Because uh, two sides are equal to each other. Exactly. So this means that this angle is 45. Degrees. 45. Yes. And then this whole angle is. 130. Yeah. yeah. So it's pi plus pi over four, which is pi five over four. So theta is pi five pi over four. So that's the angle. Okay. Uh, what about the length of the modules? R. That's the um, Pythagoras theorem. Mm -hmm. So it'll be five, five over, over. So three. it's minus. Let's put it completely. Minus five over square root two squared, and then plus the same thing. Yeah. which gives us 25 over 2 plus 25 over 2, which is 25, square root of 25, uh, which is just 5. Okay. So now we can write the number in the power form, z on power 3. Please don't forget, I'm converting z on power 3. It's not just z, but it is z on power 3. And so what is the number in the power form? So remember, power form is uh, z equals r cos theta plus i sine theta. So it is five. number converted the same number converted into power four so now we can apply the Argand the Dimar theorem so now applying this theorem Applying this theorem on this, we, we want to find z, right? So we will take third root of both sides to solve this equation. And so we will have z on power 3, which will just give us z, equals third root of 5, or 5 on 1 on over 3 and cos of doing the same thing so multiplying the angle by 1 over 3. So it, it will give us 5 pi over 3 times 4 down. And so this is, we can put z, this is equal z. First solution. So this is the first solution. The angle corresponding to the first solution is 5 pi over 12. So just replacing n by 1 over 3 will give us just using now not just using general n but using n equals 1 over 3 which is what you do in this case Okay, so now we just need to find other two solutions. And the other two solutions will have the same r. So they will be equally distant from the origin. Uh, what will change? 
Just the angle, exactly. So the angles will change, but all solutions will be on the same circle uh, of this, on the same circle with the equal radius, so equally distant from the origin. So how do we calculate second two angles? So they have to fit in a full circle. So, so we have to calculate the increment. Yes. Okay, so how do we calculate the increment? Delta theta, angle increment for other solutions. That will be the difference between... Well, if we have three solutions, we want to place all three solutions in a full circle. So the distance between them will be 2 pi over 3. So the distance is 2 pi over n, the number of solutions. If we had five solutions, if this equation was on power 5, then we would have to have space for five solutions. So the increment would, of course, re be reduced by, and it would be 2 pi over 5. But in this case, we only have two solutions, so the increment is 2 pi over 3, which is actually under 20. OK, so let's now use this increment and calculate second two angles corresponding to second two solutions. And then we just write replace the angles and this will give us the solutions. So what is the second angle? First angle, which is 5 pi over 12, plus the increment, which is 2 pi over 3. And then this gives us, I have to multiply this second uh, by 4 to have the same. And so it is two times four, eight plus five, 13 pi over 12. So that's my second angle. And third. Five, five, adding the same increment, but now to 13 pi over 12, plus again two pi over three. And again, I have to multiply this by 4, so 8 plus 13, 21. 21 pi over 3. So now I can write second and third solution here. So let's call this Z1 as in the first solution. The second solution will be, uh, again, third root of 5 cos 13 pi over 12 plus i sine 13 pi over 12. Okay. And the third solution, no, exactly the same, but no. now the one by over 12. Yeah, you got it over 12. Thank you. Twenty-one over. Do we leave the answer like that? Sorry. You want us to leave the answer like that? Yes, you can leave the answer like that. The only other thing is uh, to show all the three solutions on the plane. Okay. And for this, it is actually convenient to calculate the angles in degrees. So this angle is actually 75. This one is 75 plus 120, 135. Sorry, 195. And this one is 315. You can check the calculation, but 
it is simply because it's easier to show that this is a real path and imaginary. <coughs> so 75 would be somewhere here, with yep. more than 60. So that's Z1. The angle is, of course, 75 or 5 pi over 12. Okay. Then the second solution. Just the, the 180. So yes, yeah, so it's somewhere right here, side. say. And then the last one is somewhere here. Yep. So you have three equally placed solutions. So that's the second one and the third one. Now, of course, you could convert this into Cartesian coordinates, and then you would see that the position of the three points would be exactly the same. Mm. Of course, you could use, to solve this question, uh, you could just use the general formula for the solution, given in your lecture notes on page 17, where this is theorem six roots of complex numbers. And then I give you this in terms of how this is done. It is exa exactly the same. Uh, so when you find the first solution, you add to k pi so, so that you can go around the circle and change the angle because you know that you need to have two more solutions. Uh, and then just uh, you will have plus uh, two k pi over 3 in the first solution or general solution. And then you just plug in values for k equals 0, k equal 1, and k equal 2. Of course, if you would continue and then plug into this equation k equal 3, what would you get? So you would go around, got the first solution, then for k 1 you would get this solution, for k equals 3 you would get this solution. And then for, for k equal 2, you will get this solution starting from k equal yeah. 0. And then continuing, yeah, yeah, you would end up here again. So that's why <coughs> we don't, we just uh, do this for k equals 0, 1, 2, corresponding yeah. to the three solutions. Because you know that you don't have four solutions for this equation. OK. Uh, any questions about this? Yes, please. How did I get different? Yeah. Uh, so first, how did they get increment? No, not, not the. I got two pi on three. So you get the same yeah. increment. It's, uh, You're just asking. Yeah, theta well, the three. increment means okay. This is my first angle. The increment is uh, two pi over three. So I just add the increment to so the first need. angle. So it is just my first angle, pi, uh, 5 pi over 12, plus the increment. So when you do that over 3, when you divide by 3, you only do that on the first? Well, this is divided by 3 already, yeah. and this is just the increment. Yeah. So you do the divide by 3 on the first one to get your first angle? Uh, you mean here? Yeah. Yes. Here, uh, by using this. So here I divide by 3, Making using the, the, uh, the Moyer's theorem. Yeah. And the increment is, of course, divided by 3 as well, because you have three solutions. Yeah. So you calculate, again, you calculate increment as yeah. 2 pi over n. Okay. And then Q2 would be Q1 plus increment. Okay. Q3 would then be Q2 plus, again, the same increment. Yeah. Because they would be equally spaced, the solutions. I was confused to that formula where you go over 3 with the angle. You divide by 3. I thought you did on Z1, Z2, Z3. Uh, but you only do it on the first one. And then you just yes, I divide and then I find increment and then I find 
the other two solutions. Of course, I could put k here, start with the first solution, but then add 2k pi, which is just like a counter that lets you go around the circle and have more than one angle. Okay. Uh, then, of course, you, this would be divided by 3, and this would be actually your increment. And then it would just put k equals 0, which, which gives you just first angle because k equals 0 doesn't have an increment, right? Then the second angle would be the first angle plus the increment, which is, yes, divided by 3. And then the third would be the, the second, adding the, the same increment. Okay? You, you could try to solve this just by using the formula. But I think this is easier. You don't have to, not that you have to memorize this formula. But this is just solving without, you know, you don't actually need this formula. Any other question? You absolutely sure now that you understand this? Okay, any other question on complex numbers? About complex numbers? Before we move to the to the next topic which is elementary functions.